Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. And today we are once again joined by Tom, old guy in Colorado Raymond. And the reason that we're, we're joined by Tom, old guy in Colorado Raymond, is because he is um, he is the king of mean food. And he contacted me and he goes, Val, how about this? And he showed me a picture. Uh, where was that picture from, Tom? Um, you know, I don't remember for sure. I, I, I know it was from a candy shop. Somewhere. But it was it was a chocolate covered pickle. It was a chocolate and, covered and, pickle. And so Tom knows, um, no, know, he knows that if he says to me, hey, what do you think, Val, that we're gonna do it. We're gonna do That's it. Right. So, so so it was Tom's suggestion. We talked about how he wanted to do it. Um, and Tom says, well, as long as we're doing something disgusting like a um, uh, chocolate covered pickle, why don't we make it a hot pickle? So we found uh, at the our local Kroger store, we found these, which are Zesty hot zingers. Zesty hot zingers. I I was tempted to try one before, like before dipping, and I thought, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like change my palate. Exactly. Yeah, I thought exactly the same. Yeah. Thing. So what I so what I, but I, I do want to try one by itself afterwards. Right. Uh, and there's little red there's red, red chilies floating in there, so I'm think, I'm hoping that it's gonna be hot. I mean, it's not uh, Carolina Reaper hot because uh, those those look like uh, you know. Thai chilies or something, but we'll see. Yeah. So we opted to do one uh, three ways. One is uh, white chocolate. One is dark dark chocolate or you know regular chocolate. I opted for dark dark chocolate. I don't know if it makes a difference. And the third way was magic shell. Now one of the things that I discovered about magic shell is when I was a kid they had magic shell. Maybe not a kid. Maybe when I was in my twenties. Uh, I guess like in the eighties. I remember magic shell. And I thought magic shell was kind of a generic name you know for a product but it turns out that smuckers because they're, they're, i think there's a hershey's version of it but they don't call they can't call it magic shell because magic shell is a trademark of smuckers so right. smuckers was smoker smuckers originally did magic shell and still do magic shell and for those who don't know magic shell is um you pour it on top of ice cream and the cold from the ice cream solidifies it and makes it into like a hard crunchy thing i will tell you that it was a fiasco trying to get the white <laughs> chocolate one covered. As a matter of fact, it's I put I, what I ended up doing was I couldn't get it to stick to the pickle. I ended up putting it in a shot glass. It is still liquid. It, it still has not solidified. I melted it down. It still has not solidified. So I'm going to leave it in the shot glass until it's time to eat it. Uh, it's going to this is going to pull out. So I'm not even going to worry about that. And I'm just going to stick a fork in there, pull it out. Hopefully we get some white chocolate on that and we'll see what that tastes like. <laughs> So, um, Tom, my suggestion is we start with the magic shell. Is that work for you? Sure. Works only because too. only because um, it will melt once it get you know once once things start warming up. Now we uh, you froze your pickle. I froze my pickle. Did it hurt? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> well, not after about fifteen minutes. <laughs> All right. So so here. Oh my God! The magic shell is it melting. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, it's time. It's again, it's ninety-one degrees here. So let's start with uh, our magic shell pickle. Well, cheers. You know what? I'm afraid I'm lying. I have a feeling this is not the magic shell pickle. It's just hard to tell because it's the same color as the other one. I think this is just the, ch the chocolate one because it's starting to melt. The, um, the magic shell pickle is still solid. So we made a mistake there, but wow, that is spicy. It is. The pickle is pretty well frozen, so. Does that help? I mean, imagine that um, having that pickle chilled helps, does it? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. so, well, it definitely helps with the magic shell. We're we're kind of we're kind of out of order, because like I said, I just ate the chocolate one, thinking it was the magic shell one, and apparently it's not. That's okay. Yep. So so here's the thing, um, the fact that it's a spicy pickle, I think helps. I, I really think it helps. Um, that's a better quality than those hot pickles that you get at the uh, dollar store. I think that makes it better. Mm -hmm. um, still, that it's a, it's a vinegar pickle. It still has that, you know, like, like, I think, I think if you used a cucumber, it might be better. 
you know, they use it like a like a, a, a baby a baby cucumber. It might be better um, because that the vinegar the vinegar I think destroys it. The vinegar uh, kind of like gives it a bad taste. How, how, I mean, yours is frozen, so is yours different? Well, I mean, it's not great, that's for sure. Uh, but it, it's not horrible. It's uh, I've. I've I've eaten worse, that's for sure. But so, so would you this say this isn't thumbs- something I would? No, it, this is this is a thumbs down for me. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Same it's here. It's not something I would like make hors d'oeuvres for my friends. You know, some chocolate covered. Pickles. Oh yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> and 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 again, we opted. We were gonna like do the the large pickle, and we said, you know what? Let's do the small ones because that you know that then we don't have to eat as much of it, right? That's right. So I'm gonna do my magic shell one. You go ahead and do your chocolate one. Okay, mine turned out really kind of. Big yeah. Ugly. Well, because. Oh, young be, be, <laughs> oh, you left the stem on it. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. For some reason, I like the magic shell one better. Now you can you can go probably say that you probably don't like this one that you're eating now as much as the one you just had, right? Uh. <laughs> well, Val, to be perfectly honest, you don't uh, like I don't one. prefer either one of them. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe the Magic Shell one, maybe by just a little bit, it has a different flavor. Yeah, it's sweeter, a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it's almost uh, like fudge, like a like a coke, uh, a lot a lot of cocoa fudge type taste. Yeah, Are you getting it's, it. It's definitely different. Yeah. And then I. So yeah, I think the, I. I think I like the I think I like the magic shell one better than the chocolate one, but I'm, I'm on your page. They both suck. Yep. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and uh, do the white chocolate one. And again, I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, it's like it's liquid. It's, it it has not. Oh my, this is this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So I mean, like that's that's what I'm. Yeah. Yours looks like mine. It's just like. It's, it, won't, it's, it's, it doesn't want to stay on. It on one, all but one side. It just didn't want to. So well, I, because I, because probably why why it was still melt, it was still like dripping off of it while it was yeah. solidifying. So, yeah. um, um, and, and I'm gonna guess that this probably doesn't taste any better. Well, it does actually. I agree with you because that cocoa, the, the the cocoa chocolate taste clashes with the vinegar, right? The the um, the white chocolate, not as much. No. And I think white chocolate has cocoa butter in it, if I'm not mistaken. Right. But it's mostly other stuff. I actually think it's better. I actually think the white chocolate is better because um, there's something about that the cocoa or the chocolate taste that conflicts with um, that conflicts with the uh, pickle. So, um, oh. like, and again, I don't think it's because we used a hot pickle. I think if we used a regular dill pickle, I think we would have had the same result. Yeah, uh, no. I, I, I think <laughs> I think that the the fact that it's a hot pickle makes it more interesting tasting. That's about it. Yeah, the, uh, the white chocolate is better by far, but they, the, it, it still is terrible. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so it, it, it brings it, it, it raises the question, who in their right mind would go into a candy store and buy a chocolate covered pickle? <laughs> right? That's a, you know, I, I'm not sure I want to know that answer. I think it's probably like a competitive thing, like uh, like maybe three people walk in the store and like, let's all buy a pickle, see who eats, the, you know, who can eat the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna try one naked. Yep, same here.
Not a bad pickle, but not the best. No. It does have... It does have some heat to it. Yeah, well, it seems... I think it's it's spicier because whatever whatever uh, is in milk chocolate or in, in the chocolate it's kind not of as, uh, covers that a little bit. It does. And it's not... I don't think it's hot, as hot as like the uh, famous Dave's. No, no. Um, and then that's not as sweet either. It's definitely more uh, vinegary. Yeah, and I don't, but I, I don't like the pickle. Like for me, I like the pickles from Sonoma Brinery. Now, those are the ones that are salt brined. Uh, I don't know. I don't really don't know that it would make a difference. It, it might. The salt brine might, might make a difference because I think the vinegar is the culprit here. I think the vinegar is the one that attacks everything. You know, all the whatever type of chocolate that you're putting on it, it, it like the vinegar is a, it's a no-no. It's a, it just, it's a clash. Yeah, no, and I'm not, uh, to be honest, and I'm not really sure that a salt brine pickle would be really any better. No, no, I don't think so either. So I'm going to go ahead and say, all three of them, a big giant thumbs down. And it's like two thumbs down. It was, it, it was terrible. It was absolutely <laughs> terrible. But. Thank you. But you know, I mean, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna actually make this. Then then it's a challenge, and we've got we've got to um, we've got to come to the call of duty and uh, accept that challenge and and see what we can do with it. So we gave it a shot. Uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. Well, thank you for giving it a try. <laughs> uh, so um, be sure to check out uh, Chomp, Tom's channel. All the information will be down below. Subscribe, like his videos because it helps. It really does. And you will see Tom in uh, other videos coming up. So uh, so thank you, Tom, once again for joining us. And for, for everyone else out there, uh, be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well, then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.